Hey guys, it's Yaya. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're making a Manuka Honey Shampoo. This shampoo is very conditioning and very mild so it can be used on very dry hair and still leave it moisturized, conditioned, and soft. Manuka Honey is such an amazing ingredient. It can help with all sorts of hair issues, scalp issues, um, clearing up dandruff, conditioning the hair, adding shine and moisture. To start off with phase A, I am making a slurry. This is just my thickener, which is xanthan gum, and some glycerin. Since we don't have all the professional equipment at home, the slurry will make it easier to disperse the thickener without it clumping up and looking too lumpy. So all you have to do is disperse the xanthan gum in the glycerin, and then we're gonna set that aside. For phase B, or you can call this the water phase, there are only three ingredients. We'll be using distilled water, our preservative, and of course, Manuka honey. Manuka honey is soluble in water, so you want to add it directly into the water, and then you want to mix it until it completely dissolves. You can also add your preservative directly into your water or you can add it at the end of the formula. So once you mix it up, you will see that it changes color and we basically have honey water right now. Now it's safe to add phase A, which is our slurry, to phase B, which is our honey water. We're gonna mix these up well until the mixture starts to thicken. And you will see here that you are starting to get a little lumpiness, clumpiness, but that's okay. A lot of that will settle towards the end. But right now I'm really happy with the way it is thickening. However, with the surfactants that we're using, you can actually thicken the formula with salt. So you do not have to really use just xanthan gum, but that's up to your discretion. Right now, I just want to focus on those who have inquiries about xanthan gum. So next is phase C, or you can call this your surfactant phase. This is where we get all the bubbles and foamy cleansing properties. For our cleansing agents, I'm using 20 grams of each. One is sodium methyl cocal torate. Watch me butcher these names. And also the next one is one you probably have seen me use many times, coco mitopropyl betaine. These are both very mild surfactants. The first one is more of a paste consistency and the second one is a liquid. But once we mix these together, they will be more uniform and create this really, this very creamy, slightly viscous consistency that I absolutely love. But once we add that in our formula at the usage rate that we used, um, all together that leaves 11% active matter and that is plenty for shampoo. Shampoos usually range from 10% to 15% active matter. So this is gonna give you plenty of bubbles, especially considering which surfactant you use. Anionic surfactants give such amazing bubbles, um, yet it is still very mild, it's not harsh and it's not stripping. So now that we have phase C, now we wanna add phase A, B to phase C. So that's basically gonna be our thickened honey water. We're gonna add it straight to our surfactant mixture and we're gonna give it a really good stir. So even though the sodium methyl cocoa torate is a semi-solid white paste, it creates crystal clear formulas, which I think is so cool. So you don't have to worry about your um, final product being cloudy. Also, keep in mind that cocoa metapropyl betaine also helps to thicken and increase the viscosity when mixed with certain surfactants. And a sodium methyl cocoa torate is just happens to be one of those. So when you mix those together, they will naturally increase the viscosity. Okay, so now that A, B, and C phases are completely together, we're gonna set it to the side. Before we do that, of course, you want to adjust your pH level. The reason you want to do this is because the pH level is so important for your preservative. Your preservative needs to be within a certain pH level in order to be effective. So in order to test the pH, you need to create a 10% dilution. So you want to take two grams of the shampoo and you want to dilute it with distilled water. Anywhere from 18 to 20 grams will be fine. Once you mix it together and it dissolves, then you want to test it using your pH meter. This landed right at a 7.06, which is not bad for a shampoo. It really is just about preference. For most shampoos, um, anywhere between six and seven is considered mild and most baby shampoos fall into that range. Now, if you're looking to balance it and make it lower, you can definitely add 
one to two drops of 50% citric acid and I used a couple of drops which brought it down to 5.52. Um, so to create the 50% citric acid solution, all you need is 50 grams of distilled water and 50 grams of citric acid powder. You can also make a larger batch like 100 grams distilled water and 100 grams citric acid. As long as they're equal parts, it's the 50% citric acid solution, okay? So now that we have balanced our shampoo, this is the final result and I absolutely love it. Look how beautiful and crystal clear it is. And I love that it kind of got that honey color to it. I think it came out really great and it's beautiful of course i did a quick demonstration you guys even before i added water it was already foaming and lathering up it's such a thick lather and i knew i could get even more out of it which is why i used my lofa like you guys it is amazing thick lather it is so thick and foamy and the bubbles are super dense even though this is 11 percent surfactant active matter i honestly feel like this could be used as a body wash because it is super foamy and thick and the bubbles are insane. But yet it is still mild. My hands never felt stripped or dried. They were super soft and conditioned and I definitely think I owe that to the honey. The honey definitely gave this shampoo some conditioning properties and made it super mild. I also think the sodium methyl cocoa torate also helped with making it a lot more milder and softer and more conditioning so i definitely recommend this product so this is a very simple formulation you guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i really hope you enjoyed this formula and i hope you give it a try i will be doing other variations with this to, to test it out i know a couple of you on instagram were asking me to use some other thickeners so i would definitely do that um, but yeah other than that i really hope you guys enjoyed this manuka honey shampoo It's very simple very easy very mild and I could recommend it for any hair type. Uh, even if you have a dry hair type, I believe this will be gentle enough for your hair. If you're someone who needs a lot more clarifying and um, a, a little bit more of a cleanse, I still think this will do pretty well as a daily shampoo because it is super gentle and I think you still will get uh, those properties that you're wanting. So I definitely think everyone should give it a try. I think it definitely will work for all hair types. Um, and yeah, if you do give it a try, let me know. Leave a comment down below and let me know how I went for you. Yeah, but anyway, uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, you guys, so you won't miss any upcoming videos. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye.